This is Codador. Let's see what we're doing. The greeter class greets the user with their name. If you if the user provides age, the user is greeted with their name and their age. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, it guess no. It it doesn't work. Alright. So I guess that's what we're doing. Greeter class contains the method greet user that returns a string containing the greeting. It calls the correct version based ah we're method overloading on whether there is a username or not. All right, write an overloaded version of greet user. Let me head over to greeter and let's see what they're talking about. So we have greet user, ah, yeah. Now guys, keep in mind, what is method overloading? Method overloading is when we write the, when we have a method signature that differs. Mister, mister, what's a method signature? It is this. So I'm gonna do public, uh, it looks like we're gonna return a string and this is gonna be called what? Greet user now what is the argument what is the parameter greet user method with their name okay it should return a string that parameter has the user's name well then string name i'll call it boom boom this is a method signature this whole line here right it defines the access uh of the method the type of re the return type the name of the method and the parameters now method overloading is where you have and i want to prove this to you i'm going to write uh let's see copy go down here right click paste an identical method setup except 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 the parameters this one it says they want a age added and and let me double check yes age is an integer so int age so again identical names look we have a method name three times identical name three times and that is acceptable in java the reason it is is because the computer when it processes these understands oh it has different parameters so when i call greet user and pass no argument right i have nothing in place for these parameters this one runs when i call greet user and only pass a name only pass a string this one would run and finally when i do a name and an age this one would run this works uh, so eloquently, one could say, or so confusingly, one could say, is that, look, we can call greet user here, and that's actually what this uh, portion of the lesson is going to have us do, and it has a conditional statement. It's going to check if age is set to anything greater than zero. If it is, it, this greet user no parameters method, calls the greet user name age method. Otherwise, else it calls the greet user name method. So this is checking what is set and providing us with a result. So both of these are going to return a string. And I'm going to say string um, greeting, I guess, right? Equals. And let's see. I'm going to say this one's just the name. So hello. And then whatever their name is, plus name plus. I have no idea what to say next. I hope you have a great day. Look how cheery that is. Perfect. And then I can return greeting. Now, students who want to be fancy, yes, I could have just returned this directly. I think this helps make it more clear. All right. Now, again, these are pretty similar, except this one has age. So I'm going to say return. Oh, nope. I'm going to do my string again. String greeting is going to be equal to, um, just so I can make this one out easy, uh, obviously distinguished, I'm going to say hi. Uh, I'll still use the name here, name plus, um, I don't know, wow. Or here, let's do an explanation for it. Wow, comma, uh, whatever age they are, is my favorite number. Explanation point. Look, lots of explanation points. And return greeting. Boom. Okay. So now what th should happen is if we have both our name and our age in here, it will return this. Otherwise, just this. Now I believe, let's see what they have. Yeah. We now need to call our method right here. So we provided, uh, they provided us with all this. They instantiate our object. They run name, age. We get to enter up here our name and if we want to say an age, notice we enter zero if we don't. All right, so now we just need to call it. I'm going to do directly system.out.println and greet user. 
Boom, boom, boom. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what I broke. Yep, what did I miss here? Return greeting, did I have a typo? Of course I did. Wouldn't be Mr. Kaiser without a typo. Oh, yikes. And this is not a static class. I need to use the instantiated object, my greeter. Bloop. Okay, what's my name? How old am I? Um, 21? Okay, I'm 35. I know, my hairline, blah, blah, blah. Insult me, don't insult me, you'll fail. Ooh, wow, 30. Hey, look, 35 is the program's favorite number. It's so kind. Um, all right, I want to run this guy again. So let's try it just with my name, Kaiser. And then zero. See, I'm so much anger. Hello, Kaiser. I hope you have a great day. Cool. And so the key to this, guys, is noticing that we can have methods with identical names but different arguments. And it can make a program one more readable, two more versatile. It's confusing at first, but handy in the future. Well, handy now. Anyways, onward.